Hi, I'm Frank King. I'm the mental health comedian. I was a writer for The Tonight Show for 20 years, and I've been a speaker and comedian full-time for 34. I speak on suicide prevention as a workplace health and safety issue. Every year in the United States, 47,000 people die by suicide. That's one every 11 minutes. And the amazing thing is hardly anyone is talking about it. The good news is you can make a difference, you can save a life, and you can do it by doing something as simple as what we're doing right here, and that is starting the conversation. As for how my style differs from other speakers, well, I'm a comedian and I'm talking about depression and suicide. You're probably wondering, how does that work? I think you're a comedian, I think I'm a good choice because I believe where there's humor, there is hope, where there's laughter, there's life that nobody dies laughing. And depression, depression and suicide run in my family. It's called generational depression and suicide. My grandmother died by suicide, my mother found her. My great aunt died by suicide. My mother and I found her, I was four years old. I screamed for days. And I myself came close enough to dying by suicide in 2010 at the height of the recession. And I can tell you what the barrel of my gun tastes like. Spoiler alert, I did not pull the trigger. A friend of mine who never heard me say that out loud was at a keynote recently, came up afterwards and said to me, hey man, how come you didn't pull the trigger? I said, hey man, could you try to sound a little less disappointed? Also, I have two mental illnesses. One's called major depressive disorder, better known as depression, and something quite rare, chronic suicidal ideation. Meaning for me and people in my tribe, the option of suicide is always on the menu as a solution for problems large and small. And when I say small, a couple of years ago, my car broke down. I had three thoughts unbidden, get it fixed, buy a new one, or I could just kill myself. That's chronic suicidal ideation. I tailor my presentations to the group to which I'm speaking. Generally, I speak to occupations that have a high rate of suicide and are attempting to do something about it. For example, dentists, veterinarians, physicians, contractors, construction, and project managers, to name a few. As for being interactive, following every keynote and half day, we do a minimum 30 minutes Q&A, and then I tell the audience, look, if you've got a question you don't want to ask in front of everybody else, I'll hang out, answer those questions individually, each and every one of them. Takeaways, eight out of 10 people who die by suicide are ambivalent. Nine out of 10 who are thinking about suicide give hints in the last week leading up to an attempt. So I teach the signs and symptoms of depression and thoughts of suicide, what to say, what to do, what not to say, what not to do, and resources because we can make a difference. We can save a life and we can do it by doing something as simple as we're doing right here. And that is starting the conversation. 